If you turn to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, wonderful chapter. Jehovah really gets into speaking about Israel and his unfaithfulness because they are committing adultery. Anytime that you are worshiping, partnershiping with other gods or idols and things like that, that's adultery and, and adultery. So verse number four, I'm, I'm going to go read four to 14 because I want to present to you the bride as Jehovah sees the bride. Again, I still encourage you to read chapter 16 in its entirely. Verse four, on the day of your birth, your cord was not cut, nor were you washed with water for cleansing. You were not rubbed with salt or wrapped in cloths. No one cared enough for you to do even one of these things out of compassion for you. Instead, you were thrown out into the open field because you were despised on the day of your birth. Then I passed by and I saw you walling in your blood. As you lay there in your blood, I said to you, live. Therefore, I say to you, live. I made you thrive like a plant of the field. You grew up, you matured, and you become very beautiful. Your breasts were formed, your hair grew, but you were naked and bare. Then I passed by, and I saw you, and you were indeed old enough for love. So I spread my cloth over you and covered your nakedness. I pledged myself to you entered into a covenant with you, and you became mine, declares Jehovah Elohim. Then I bathed you with water, rinsed off your blood, anointed you with oil. I clothed you in embroidered cloth and gave you sandals of fine leather. I wrapped you in fine linen and covered you with silk. I adored you with jewelry. And I put bracelets on your wrist and a chain around your neck. And I put a ring in your nose and earrings on your ears and beautiful crown upon your head. So you were adorned with gold and silver and your clothing was made of fine linen, silk and embroidered cloth. You ate fine flour, honey and oil. You became very beautiful and rose to be a queen. Your fame spread among the nations of the count of your beauty, for it was perfect in the splendor I bestowed on you, declares, declares Jehovah Elohim. See, Jehovah recognized the children of Israel, the house of Israel, as his bride. 